okay guys next what will be starting will be the most loveliest and the sexiest topic ever the cardiovascular system right so here what i've drawn are the left hearts here's the left atria the left ventricle the aorta here is the mitral valve and the aortic valve right who begins everything in the cardiovascular system is the sa node the pacemaker of the heart and why it is pacemaker of the heart because of two reasons first being it generates action potential because of spontaneous nature that spontaneous nature is because of leaky sodium channel and second the amount of electrical impulse it produce are maximum as compared to any other um, cardiomyocyte right and that's big, uh, that signal is spread with the help of gap junction and due to this gap junction there is rapidly spread of signal from one cardiomyocyte to the another cardiomyocyte okay so let's begin the story of cardiac cycle it all begins with the atrial contraction and after this atrial contraction there is active filling of ventricle all right and sometimes this may produce the fourth heart sound which is pathological it's not normal fourth heart sound due to atrial contraction is pathological after atrial contraction the ventricular contraction begins and there is closure of mitral valve on the left heart and this produces the first heart sound and which marks the onset of ventricular contraction right once the ventricular contraction begins it closes the mitral valve which produces the first heart sound and that's due to closure of mitral or tricuspid valve on the right heart now ventricular contraction begins and it empties the ventricle to the aorta and then begins the ventricular relaxation right and once the ventricles start relaxing the the opened the opened aortic valve closes and this produces the second heart sound which marks the onset of ventricular relaxation okay and next one when ventricular relaxation is on the peak and when it is completely relaxed once again the mitral valve will open up and there is passive collection of blood into ventricle right so it sometimes produce the third heart sound and that's due to rapid passive ventricular filling remember this ventricular filling was active due to atrial contraction there is no point of atrial contraction in the third heart sound okay now there's one term which is called electromechanical systole now when does the ventricular depolarization start in the ecg it's in the qrs complex right p marks the atrial contraction qrs the ventricular depolarization and t is ventricular repolarization okay so electrically the systole is marked by q wave in the ecg and mechanically elect uh, mechan and mechanically the systole ends when there is onset of ventricular relaxation that means on the second heart sound so qs2 interval is also called electromechanical systole so sa node acts as a pacemaker i said you that due to spontaneous generation of impulse and due to generation of impulse at the highest rate but remember sometimes the ventricular myocytes say sometimes become become an ectopic foci which can produce spontaneous action potential and that might result in say ventricular arrhythmias right so sa node is not only the one structure which can produce spontaneous signals so best answer is generate impulse at the highest rate gap junction spread of spike signal which is very rapid okay electromechanical systole q2 s2 interval which of the following is true for fourth heart sound you remember heart sound 4 was due to atrial contraction and that was filling ventricles which was active filling right so the here the best answer is during ventricular filling phase but the best answer should be due to atrial contraction and this one is always pathological and this is active ventricular filling all are true for heart muscle except look heart muscle is not multinucleated multinucleated are the skeletal muscle but yeah it acts as a one unit due to gap junction that is it acts as a syncytium as gap junction and has branching vagal stimulation of the heart look vagus causes decrease in heart rate and when you decrease the heart rate there will be more gap between 
two waves of ECG. So there will be more R to R interval if there is vagal stimulation. If there is shorter R to R interval, that means you are stimulating sympathetic nervous system. During diastole, the arterial pressure is maintained by. Before saying something, watch this clip. This is rigid tube which cannot expand. So there are peak of pressure during systole and null pressure during diastole. Look, this one is elastic artery. There is uniform pressure maintained. So this happens due to elastic nature of the artery. Right, when there is systole, the aorta will dilate and when there is diastole, it won't collapse completely like a rigid tube. It will collapse slowly so that it can maintain the diastolic pressure. Okay. During cardiac, imagine the phase of minimum motion of the heart. That means heart is not moving. It is like this during mid diastole and during systole it will contract right so mid diastole minimum motion of the heart venous return to the heart during quiet standing look when you're standing there'll be pooling of blood in the lower limb now there is less amount of blood going to the heart that means venous return is decreased less amount of blood going to the ventricles that means ventricles are less stretched and frank starling law states that if there is more stretch there will be more powerful contraction. If there is less stretch, less powerful contraction. So there is less stretch, so it will uh, contract slowly and that will result in low blood pressure, not high increase in blood pressure. Orthopnea in heart failure develops due to this is the condition when you'll have difficulty in breathing while you're sleeping. That's why you'll find the person with heart failure sleeping in this position right what happens is when you're sleeping there is more venous return towards the thorax right so there'll be more blood going into the right ventricle and to the pulmonary area now the problem is the blood is accumulated in this region because the left heart cannot pump the blood efficiently so blood is backing up and this backing up of, of the blood produces difficulty in breathing in the recumbent position that's why you'll find the patient of heart failure always in this condition sitting and sleeping comfortably so reservoir function is maintained by leg veins you'll have pooling of blood in the legs all of the following factors increases the length of ventricular cardiac muscle while you are standing there is less venous return and less stretch not increase in length of ventricular cardiac muscle fiber which of the following statement is least correct look you have 0.8 second of cardiac cycle right out of that 0.3 is systole and 0.5 is diastole the ventricular diastole now if you are increasing your heart rate which time will you decrease the systole or diastole it's the diastole now now your diastole would be say 0.4 and your co total cardiac cycle is say of 0.7 seconds so your heart rate is increasing always remember it's the diastolic time which is decreasing if you increase your heart rate 